back with our leadership interview series. And I have to tell you that I'm the one benefiting. I hope, of course, you are benefiting, but all the amazing people that I get to meet. And I just met Alice Tillett, and she is the CEO of Petmate, which makes fabulous products. She's gonna talk about that in a minute. But what I love about her perspective is she's also been in leadership positions with a variety of other industries. And so she brings a wealth of information to the pet space, but leadership is leadership. We agreed with that, right? We I mean, did. leadership is leadership. So let's hear from you. Tell us what you do. Um, I have the good fortune of working with a team of people that provide fun, quality products for a pet parent and for the pet to enhance their lives. And, most well every, um, and everything we do is around the supply side of the business. And 60% uh, of what we sell and market, we manufacture here in the U.S. No, I love that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, Good. so it's great. Yeah. All right, yay, yay. So as a leader, we talked about this briefly. Mm -hmm. Does a leader need a pet? And now not just we're all pet people, so we're all like, of course they do. But talk about when you were a leader at other places. So do you think that leaders do better with pets? Absolutely. Um, I as also, also have had the good fortune of having a pet since I've been little. Many different kinds at any any given time throughout. Um, and what I will say is, is that the one thing about the pets is that they are persistent. <laughs> yes, um, they are. <laughs> they are trusting and they are loyal. I think all which are traits that have helped from a leadership standpoint um, along the way. I've been in the pet space about five years, um, and as I said, I've always had pets. One of the things that I did when I when I started was I put a freshwater aquarium in my office, and um, what it allowed me to do is remain calm mm. and actually take the time to enjoy the moment and actually watch the fish throughout the day. So it's been great. Wow! And don't you think I've had fish? They actually know you're watching. They interact with you. Huge personalities. I, you people don't realize that. They're like, oh, well, fish. And I'm, no. Yes. When I used to do video like this, I had a beta. And when I turned the camera on, he'd swim in the front of the thing. And like, I mean, he'd like wave. He knew. Right. I just, people undermine that. I, I don't think they realize how great fish are. But. Absolutely. All right. So talk to me. So you believe they need to have it. Yes. What do you think are the biggest traits that a leader needs? You know, in the, in the world, what's a trait of a leader that you think is? You know, I think for me, no matter where you're working and no matter what space you're in, um, integrity, first and foremost. Um, I would say empowerment, because as a leader, if you don't empower a team behind you, it's going to be extremely challenging, and you don't have what you need in order to be successful. And I think the last piece is kind of that passion and that persistence. So, can we go into integrity for just a minute? Sure. So, <laughs> I always, as a coach, I've always talked about integrity is something that other people tell you you have. Mm -hmm. Really, because I can't say I am integrity. Right. So, what do you think are the, the traits that make up integrity? Um, I, I think honesty. Okay. Um, I think being forthright and direct um, actually bring kind of that, that whole integrity piece together. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think the other piece um, that also you can add to it, and I think one of the things that le as leaders we don't probably do enough and need to learn to do, is listen. Um, because when you're listening, your response is really from the heart and it's actually true and upfront. Wonderful. And people haven't talked today about listening enough, I don't think, or not much. And so I love that. And we wouldn't have gotten there without the integrity piece because you really have to think. What are the, the, the traits I bring to the party that help? And so let's talk about that. What would you tell, and I know you have a staff, you have people who yes. work with you. What would you tell any new leader coming up? What would be some advice or mentoring you would give? You know, I, first I would say it is to listen because I think it can be the biggest blind spot that, okay. that leaders have. I think when you've been in this, especially when you've been in a space for a long period of time, you tend to believe that you have the answers. And in many times, you will go down a product road or a marketing road and believe that you have the answers versus saying, you know what, I need to listen and get the insight from the consumer right. or from the retailer to make sure that what I'm making is exactly what's needed for that pet parent. Perfect. So how nice. So you would tell them to be listeners? Absolutely. And then what else? I, I would tell them, especially in today's marketplace, to have persistence. Okay. Um, you have to remain persistent. 
um, life's going to hand you as well as leadership's going to hand you ups and downs, and you've got to be persistent through that. I'm going to jump off a little bit because it's such a good technique, mm -hmm. and, and you've been persistent, you've had huge success. What about the people who feel like, oh, I'm bugging them too much, or I, I don't want to, I mean, what do you do? How do you fight combat that... I, I'm not it's not working for me and I've right. asked and I've asked and I'm persistent but it just hasn't worked for me you know I think it I think it all depends on, the, on your approach and the manner in which uh, you well do it. Well said, well said. Um, so do a different approach. Absolutely. Okay. And if you're doing it from the right place, oh, wonderful. Um, you know, I think that you get where you need to be in the end, ultimately. And maybe that's another characteristic from a pet. I mean, they don't have like an ulterior motive. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> They're like, love me! Right, I mean, most are love me. Yeah. And so what a great thing. What a great thing for us to remember is that if our intent is right, like our pet's intent, then we won't be turned down. We'll just try a new way. Like one dog will get you to do something, but then if that doesn't work, they try another way. <laughs> All right, good. So is there one overall trait you think a pet has? It, you did say quite a few of them, so I'm loving them. But is there one overall that you would say that's the one that we need? Just to end us up here. Um, I, I would say trust. Oh, wow. Because I think all pets, I've been very, I guess, happy to have pets that are pets that trust, and they're very trusting. Um, and I think in a leadership standpoint, you've got to trust your people ah. to be able to get and empower them to get where you need to be. Without that, and they don't trust you, you're not going to get where you need to be as a leader. All right, so I'm going to go one more because no one's really talked Trust has been the first one that we've come up in this series so far, and it's so imperative. Do you give trust immediately and then, I mean, talk to us about a little bit about, you give it first and then, because an animal gives it to you first. Absolutely. And Is that what you would suggest as a leader? You know, I think there's two different kinds of leaders. I think there's those that give trust right up front. Okay. And then there are those that say you have to earn my trust. Um, I am very much along the pet quality standpoint of saying I give my trust up front because there's re no reason not to. Right. They haven't done anything. And, and as long as you realize that there's good intent, there's integrity, there's honesty, then your expectation is that trust is not going to be broken. And it's not. You haven't been wrong. I, so far, I've been very good. I've been lucky. So this is exciting, and we're so fortunate. Alice Tillett is with Pet. Um, mate. So would you give them your website or how do they get a hold of you? Or You can go to www.petmate.com. Perfect. And see all the great products that you've Absolutely. Got. We'd love to have you do that. Absolutely. And if you have anything, like if you've learned something, put something down in the in the responses because we love to know what, and she gave some really great, great advice. So thank you so very much for being on with us and giving more leadership tips because if, without great leaders, we don't have anything, do we? No, we don't. We and don't. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. So that's it for this interview. Um, but we got more coming for you. And the whole goal is to make you the best leader possible. Matter of fact, the leader that your pet thinks you are. So bye.